Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, guess what guys? Guess what? We're going to do a little bit of a movie discussion here, okay? I'm sure you know from the title, the description, and the infamous thumbnail what we're going to be talking about. Mike, go ahead and tell them what it is. Okay. The movie is called Dial M for Murder. It came out in 1954. Oh my god, that's an old movie. Yeah, it is. Pretty old movie, guys. Uh, as you know, if you watch my channel, if you watch me discuss movies and all that good stuff, TV shows, all that good stuff, you know i got to have my handy-dandy trusty notes. This will be no exception, guys. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about this interesting hidden gem, for me anyways, of a movie. It is, of course, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Now, I'm personally not necessarily a huge fan of Hitchcock, but I've also personally never seen really that many movies uh, of his. So, uh, this one here is just one of the handful that I've ever seen. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and go over the stars. We're just going to go over the small main cast of this movie, which there really wasn't a whole lot uh, that was involved anyway. So here we go. And yes, I'm going to butcher the names. Get ready. We have Ray Milland as Tony Windus. We have Grace Kelly as Margot Windus. We have Robert Cummings as Mark Holiday, he's annoying. We have John Williams as Chief Inspector Hubbard. And we have Anthony Dawson as Charles Swan. Very, very good little cast. All right, let's go on to the story, or as some people like to call it, the Plot synopsis. Here we go. A greedy husband hires a hitman to kill his wife so he can inherit her fortune. But things don't go quite as planned. Bum, bum, bum. Exciting so far, isn't it? It is, believe me. So, here's my little humble thoughts and opinions on this movie. Let's go. This is not a movie I would typically watch, but it was recommended to me, so why not? Funny thing is, it's been about two days, and I'm still thinking about this movie. After I watched it, I literally woke up the next morning and was instantly thinking of this movie. That's weird. That's really weird. It's not filled with crazy intense action, nor tons of violence, no nudity. Not sure. I even heard a swear word. There's a small cast of characters. There's nothing flashy. But here I am, interested, satisfied, fulfilled. Go figure. The writing was top notch. Directing, casting, the musical score, all great. Zero complaints. Uh, this is one of those movies, I'm kind of going off script here. This is one of those movies where old movies were a little different. There was a lot of this intense musical score, uh, these intense moments. There was a lot of eye contact. There was a lot of eye movement. There was a lot of dramatic kind of things going on with the people because you know, movies were more about acting and showing the story through your acting and your facial expressions and and the music and and, and stuff like that they didn't have a lot of the stuff that we get into later in the music uh, in the movies you know with all the effects and the and, and just the different stuff it was a different time back then so, 
in this time, you know, uh, they're coming in from doing a lot of theater work, you know. Uh, movies and TV were still fairly new in the 50s, so a lot of these actors grew up coming in, you know, to uh, movies and TV from the theater. And in the theater, there's a lot of, you know, over-dramatization of things and lots of movements and lots of, like, what I'm doing here, like, oh, goodness, uh, you know, lots of lots of uh, different ways of uh, displaying and getting your emotions and feelings and words and the story and all that across uh, than what they, and then, you know, what happens later on in our, our, you know, later years. So it's very interesting to watch some of these old movies just for that reason alone. Uh, the version that I watched was in color. Uh, I'm not sure if that was added in later or not. Uh, I did find some black and white images, of course, um, but it, I, I'm I'm not sure if it was in black and white and they added it or not. If you know, let me know in the comments. I could have done a little research probably on it and probably found out, but hey, this is a way for you to get uh, active in the comments. I think I would have preferred, honestly, to see a black and white, possibly, if it was done right, if it was a good... Uh, transfer of it if it looked good uh, but either way it was perfectly fine uh, in the beginning the interaction and conversations between Tony and Charles is great the back and forth the way the camera plays off of them the dialogue uh, the music the intensity uh, I don't want to say much uh, I know the movies old but I don't want to give out any spoilers in this. This is just kind of a discussion, kind of how I, you know, what I think about the movie. Uh, the interaction between the ins uh, Inspector Hubbard and all of the other characters as he's kind of interrogating them. Is that the word? I hope that's the word. It's interesting. It's, it's so... Uh, it's so 50s. It really is. Uh, it's... it's it's like, well, I wonder, I wonder, oh, I see, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really that, but it is that, it, it just, it's, it's funny to watch, because it, it, it's something that, like, people nowadays might would make fun of, but back then, of course, it was just the way it was, and uh, it's really interesting, it's interesting and entertaining to watch it, actually, it really is. So, I enjoyed it. Uh, the interaction between uh, all the people was good. You couldn't have asked for a better, more well-made movie for what you got. You know, we're talking about, you know, in the 50s and a small cast and... In everything just everything clicked it was so well put together I believe uh, are there plot holes are the things you can pull apart and look at I don't know I'm sure there is in every movie TV show whatever you watch so uh, what I what I enjoyed about it is uh, it's so interesting it's so simple it's so complicated it's so 50s talk show radio uh it's like something the family would gather around the radio in the evenings and listen to you know uh the next you know kind of action thriller radio talk show that they used to have you know back in those days that's what it's like only you're seeing you know it's an, an actual movie so it, it it's really interesting i enjoyed it uh, all the acting's great. And there's tension. There's suspense through this whole movie, and it, it's so subdued. It's nothing just crazy, but at the same time, I found myself just sitting there, kind of really glued to watching it. Like, where's this? You know, I kind of know where it's going, but where's it going? How's this gonna play out? How's this gonna work? You know, what's the next step? What's going on? So. Uh, it was really interesting. 
And again, mostly uh, what's crazy is this movie really takes place uh, in a single room. Uh, it looks like an apartment or a condo or, or something like that, something along those lines. Uh, there's so much drama, there's so much suspense, there's so much mystery all in one small area. And that's what I have, that's all I have wrote down. Um, there's, there's a lot to be said about these old movies like this. And it's kind of strange coming from me because I'm not some big old movie advocate. Uh, I've never seen myself really going back and watching a lot of old movies. Uh, I'm one of those people that grew up, you know, through the, you know, I was born 71, so I'm really an 80s kid. You know, we, we lived through all the greats. And sometimes it's hard for us to go back and watch some of these really old movies. But if you take the time to do it, um, you're going to run across some real gems, some, uh, some interesting movies, some interesting ideas, and seeing the way that people used to uh, get around making movies and stuff. It's, uh, it's just so, uh, it's interesting. So anyway, I don't wanna I don't wanna keep going on and on, but I do recommend watching this movie. I know it's old, and I know you're young and hip and awesome and all this stuff, and everything's got to be flashy and loud and crazy. But imagine not having to have that, and just sitting back, watching a movie play out, and enjoying it, and just. Not worrying about when it was made, if it looks old, if it's HD or not, if there's cussing and nudity and, and all that stuff. Just don't worry about it. Put your time in with some of these old movies. Uh, I find that whenever I do, I'm pleasantly surprised. And I need to do it more often, and so do you. We need to see where we came from to know where we're going. And why we're where we're at. You know? And that's with everything. Movies, TV, video games, books if you're a reader. Just different thing from photography and art. And uh, just just everything. Go back and, and look and appreciate some of the things that you might not have grown up with or even known about. Uh, you're liable to find some hidden gems out there, guys. And I appreciate uh, this movie. So, you know, and again, I'm not a, a real reviewer. I'm not, I don't really care to rate a whole lot, but if I had to rate this movie for what it is, the time that it was made, you know, I would, I'd give this easily a 4.5 out of 5. Why not a 5? Well, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it, given, throwing out numbers is just throwing out numbers. I say watch the movie. I enjoyed it, and I think you will too, guys. Uh, so, having said that, let's end this video here. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out my playlist. All kind of videos are in the playlist. You're going to enjoy my channel immensely. You're probably not going to ever want to leave my channel, okay? I got something for everyone. And when you've done that, Go check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Check out the playlists in there and see what I'm playing. All right? Guys, don't forget. Get up. Get out. Get rad. And do it to it. And go check out this movie. All right? We'll see y'all later. Mwah. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!